In today's video, we're going to be using taillight tint to see if we can tint windows and make it look good. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I know what you're thinking, this is a really stupid idea, but this is just so we know what it looks like. So if you guys are new here, please click that subscribe button, hit the like button, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Here we go. What's going on everyone? Welcome to More Motorsports YouTube channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So you read the title right, we're going to be trying to tint this window using Nightshade VHT. This is tail light tint um, and it is a very stupid idea but I have been asked many times would it work. So we're going to find out if it will work and how it looks and all that stuff. Do I recommend doing this? Probably not. Um, I've never done it though so we'll see how it turns out and I'm going to start by showing you in this video. So we have acetone that we're going to be cleaning it up with. We have some steel wool, which is the number 00000. Uh, you can get it at Walmart, O'Reilly's, AutoZone. A lot of places that carry steel wool will have that. You want it to be the super fine stuff. This is all I have left of it, so we're going to be using that. I have a microfiber so we can clean it. We actually have some window cleaner we'll be spraying on there. Now, we won't be painting on the outside layer here. Uh, we'll be painting on the inside but I'm still gonna clean both sides with the uh, window cleaner and steel wool just to make it look a lot better so we can actually see what it looks like. Um, this is just a spare window I had from my old EF hatch. I have a couple of these, so I figured this would be a good test. It's not gonna be going on the vehicle um, or anything like that, so just wanted to uh, get this video out for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, we're gonna go over to the paint area and get started. So as a lot of you know, I just use cheap stuff. This is Dollar Tree glass cleaner. Works pretty good. I uh, use some cheap steel wool and just basically use the steel wool across it. Now it's up to you whether you want to use steel wool on your windows or not. I've never had them scratch if you use the fine stuff. Now we're just going to go ahead and wipe the outside down. Let's see how it turns out. Definitely looks a lot better. Now we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. Now we're just gonna scuff the window on the inside with the steel wool. Make sure everything's off of it. Then wipe it down. All right, now that we wiped the window down with some steel wool and glass cleaner, I'll we'll be using some acetone and I've got another clean microfiber. I'm just going to put some acetone on the microfiber and wipe the window just to make sure everything's off. Okay, so when it comes to actually spraying the nightshade on, we're not gonna go too thick because this stuff does dry darker. Um, after it dries, it actually gets a little bit darker. So we're basically gonna mist it on there really well and we're gonna see how it goes. If I screw it up, we'll acetone it and try again. So here we go. first coat dry I'm actually gonna turn the fan off because it's messing everything up so we'll go ahead and turn that fan off real quick and then uh, after this is dry for a few minutes we'll go over it again all right we've let it dry for a few minutes we're gonna go ahead and go over it one more time Okay, 
surprisingly, it actually looks pretty good um, for being a spray tint. Okay, so you can definitely tell that it is, you know, spray paint on there. So it's kind of got like some haziness to it. If we go over it a few more times, it might clear up. So we might try that real quick and see what happens. But for being spray tinted with spray can, surprisingly not too terrible. You can definitely tell the difference though between this and real window tint. I'm gonna take it back over. We're gonna put another layer on it. We'll see what happens. Okay, that is a lot darker. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll see how it looks too. All right, so we have an untinted EF hatch window here. And then we have the VHT tinted window right here. And surprisingly, it actually looks pretty decent. Now, if we're looking from the inside out, you can see through it still. You can also tell that it is spray paint because there are some darker spots than others but surprisingly it did work. Now I didn't expect it to actually look this good to be honest with you, but I did three coats total. Um, the first coat was kind of light, the second coat was just kind of light over the first coat, but on the third coat I went real thick and made sure to make it as even as possible. Do I recommend doing this? No. Could you? Absolutely. It does work, but I recommend getting the windows tinted the right way. This was just a fun video I thought would be cool to test and see if I could tint the window from the inside and actually make it look good. And surprisingly, yeah, you could. Um, you can still tint it with it in the car, but like I said, I don't recommend doing this. Uh, you could tint it with it in the car, not taking it out, just taping everywhere up around it and wiping it down with acetone, cleaning it up real good, and it would work. But you might get some sags or runs if you lay it on too thick. I was gonna test to see if the window would tint well, uh, with it upright position like this, but when the results came out this good, I was just going to call it quits and say it looks really decent, surprisingly. So, ultimate question, can you VHT tail light tint your windows and make it look good? Absolutely you can. Again, I do not recommend doing it. Um, maybe if it was like on a vehicle that, I don't know, you're just dailying and you want to get back and forth to work and you're in a pinch and it's super hot out, maybe tint your windows with this stuff, but also don't know what percentage of tint it is. You could get pulled over. So do it at your own risk if you are going to do it. But interestingly enough, this VHT nightshade definitely works good. I am not sponsored by VHT, Duplicolor, or Rust-Oleum, or any of the paint that I've done in my videos. I'm just doing them to show you how to, and just have some fun on this channel as well. So, it's pretty interesting results. I'll show you real quick. This is what the inside of the window tent looks like. Looking out, you can see through it pretty well. Um, it is kind of hazy because, I mean, it is nightshade for your tail lights, but surprisingly, it turned out pretty decent. Let me show you the difference between this and the real stuff in the truck. Well, as you can see, the inside of the truck window tent is so much nicer because it's real window tent, it's quality tent. Uh, I paid like $145 for it to be done. I know a lot of you probably wanted to see me do it, but I absolutely suck at window tent, so I need a lot more practice before I start doing it. But uh, yeah, I definitely recommend doing it the right way, but in a pinch, that method does work as well. It is your vehicle at the end of the day, so no one can tell you what to do with it. But I personally recommend real window tint over the spray stuff, which isn't designed for that. Um, I love doing these videos, uh, testing things out like this when I can. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you click that subscribe button, turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload, and share the videos around on social media or with your friends and family. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that do that, more than words can describe. So definitely stay tuned. We are gonna be putting this K20 in here and throwing some boost on it and having fun with that. I have an RX-8 manual six-speed transmission. I'm gonna be pairing up with this, uh, doing a Skunk 2 Ultra intake manifold with a custom exhaust and this 2,900 pound truck will definitely move really well with that engine. The engine that's in here runs good uh, but it just is really lacking on power and I don't want to mess with it at all so that's just getting yanked out and then we're going to put the Honda K-Series. A lot of you guys may not agree with my methods but it's okay because it's not your vehicle. You don't have to worry about it but uh, definitely gonna be fun and I'll still be able to use this as a work truck. That's actually how I got the engine and transmission here was with this little truck. So 
definitely making some progress on it for sure. I'm super happy with how it's turning out and we definitely have more coming. So if you liked this video, please hit that like button and share the video around. I will see you guys in the next video. And as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.